Play ball! How was that? Not bad. Very nice. And isn't that appropriate? We're the broads, and here we are, and we've got the countdown is underway, isn't it? You, you just know, look different. I have a baseball. Do I have a, is that a compliment? It I is. Is it better? Yeah, you're or perkier. Or perkier well, you're I'm happier. I've always been called told I'm perkier. <laughs> um, You're in baseball season, especially. I have, this is a very, very big time of year for me. It is the harbinger. This is it. It's spring. I know. You know, we live in Boston, as many of you know. And it's been and a very, very long winter. And, and I don't even think it's over. <laughs> something tells me we're going to see an April snowstorm out there. Um, but all the same, this really marks the end of a, a crappy, crappy winter. And we have a very good team this year, I hope. I hope we had a horrible, you know, we were very bad in spring training. I don't know if you were aware that the Red I kind Sox of was paying yeah, somewhat, we had a somewhat 10 attention. game losing streak, so it could be difficult. Far Let me tell you a little something about Amarine <laughs> Sports. It's not pretty. Uh, but uh, I have what I, I barely know the shape of the, the her right shape of the ball. Her son, Adam, who's a great, great kid. She and you a were the Little League fanatic. You were a Little League coach, I was. weren't you? Was that laughable? <laughs> Strike out, Adam! <laughs> Strike out, honey! When he's up at that. Run, and, darling! No, not even run. Like, stay where you are, honey! Oh, he's supposed to run? He's not supposed to strike out? Oh, you were hilarious. What are they doing to my poor son? <laughs> yeah, it was not. I, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, your reign as Little League coach was one game, wasn't it? <laughs> Shortest reign on record. Of maternal little league. Coach. Why do you that call was, it a rain? Actually, well, it really wasn't a rain. <laughs> your stint, your quick little stint, is a, no. But you, you know, you've always had great passion, though, for sports and appreciation of sports. And my children, I would do anything for my children. Of, so. cor of course, of course. <laughs> um, but it's evident by the fact that I volunteered. To be a little league coach. Yeah, that what, was what just was I hilarious. Thinking? Just Ooh. hilarious. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Adam who asked you to drop to <laughs> step down. Uh, but all the same, you know, Many you, you times tried. By the way. It, was, <laughs> it was good. Stuff. But you know, and I hate to be bring this down because this has been already a lot of fun as an opening. But I hate to be. But I'm very depressed about sports. Right. As now. excited I know you are. as I, I know am you are. about the Don't Red Sox. Don't be. Don't be. Well, you know, it's could really he, hard. Could this man have anything to do yes. with it? Yes. And he's the tip of the iceberg. I mean, no. when you juxtapose Barry the fact that it's opening day and. And all this excitement, the young players, the rookies are out on the field. It's all about and get into that apple part of pie it. and popcorn and hot get dogs. Into that. But then you look in a courtroom, and there is—I right. don't know if you were, uh, if you have uh, sort have of been, been hearing it. some of the testimony of his ex-girlfriend yesterday. Yes, I saw some of that. But it is, you know, for, and many people think and she's it's lying, and that she has. By them. the way, well, for, this is testimony, so you have to be honest. If TMI or not, you have to give all the information you know. Um, and people say, oh, she's that, just a bitter ex-girlfriend. You know what? If she was a bitter ex-girlfriend, she'd be saying she saw him get injected. And she has not seen said that. She said she saw someone come to his house with a satchel and go into his bedroom and lock the door. <laughs> so I kind of get where that's coming from. She said that he lost his hair during the time they were together. That he and had a couple huge of other welt things. on his shoulder, he I lost believe a, it was. A few other things, too. He lost his ability to have sex, which of course is a sign of steroid use, and on and on and on. But she did not say, I saw a needle go into that man, or I saw a needle mark on that man. And by man. the way, I know it's important. I know it's an important issue. I know it impacts records and history and all you of that. You don't care. Is that what you're about I, to say? I focus more on the... I love the games. I love sitting on my deck listening to the games. I love being in my car. I just get more excited about the positive stuff with baseball. And the Red well, Sox, you, we happen to... You, how lucky are we? You are the kind of fan, Anne-Marie, who says things like, well, he tried. Good try. I like true his uniform. Fan, yeah. <laughs> true fans do not say good try. True fans say you bum. That's what true fans say. Like me. A fan is a fanatic. That's what it comes from. And you are the kind of one who says, oh, don't say anything bad about him. He has feelings, too. Who cares? He's an overpaid bum. I mean, and that's what, you know, I find myself working myself. And you know I'm not a pleasant no, you're to not, watch no. a game with. No, you're not. No, you're not. No. But you already I, have tickets for an opening weekend. Opening weekend in Boston. In yes, Boston. not opening weekend. In, in Boston. In Boston, yes. Against, Very, against the Yankees. Against whom? With whom? With Adam. 
who still My probably son. has scars from his mother as the little league coach. But I'll take you, honey, and we'll have a fantastic time. No, it's are we only I'm, talking baseball today, or are no, we allowed no, to talk about course. anything but, uh, else? But, let me just ask you very quickly, and I think there are, are uh, some of our boomer fans out there can relate to this. When you were young, and that was, you know, some time ago, <laughs> and I didn't well, mean to be right, I didn't mean to be rude. It's true, that was some time ago, though. Were you interested in sports as a young girl? Did your father? I was a majorette. I was a girly girl. I really majorette. was. I was a girly girl. Majorette. I was a mag majorette. I wasn't even good enough to be a cheerleader, but I was a good majorette. Oh, was a major at a step down from a cheerleader? I think it was. Aww. I didn't admit it at the time. But you but were the queen of the school. I was, but that's also an oddity to queen. me. What was it? What were you? The Broward Deer? What was it? <laughs> the Broward Deer Queen. Broward Deer Queen of what look, year? Look it up. <laughs> oh, please! No, we won't say that. But I and we're going to find my this girls picture. Are and we're going to put it on this show. My high school <laughs> friends are out there. And I should tell you that I used to be a sports talk host on the radio. So she's so talk have, about fanatic. And they hated me. Everybody hated me. They told me to go home and make babies. And they, I used to get sent to knitting lessons in the mail. Cute, huh? Um, but I rose above it. And but I still you, I love thought sports. you were great on the, on the oh, not what that I listened. You know? I wouldn't no know. You, first of all, you wouldn't listen because you hated me too but, much to But listen. I thought you, your, your retorts were great. Yes, well, for in the beginning, just very quickly. But we're not only going to talk no, this much about No, no. Okay. In the beginning, I would have people call and test me all the time. You know, who had the most RBIs in 1951? By the way, our client, our client, our client. Excuse Guys, me. Excuse me. I excuse thought that was important. She interrupts Because me. I was taking some tissues. Okay. Um, I can't even remember. Okay, so they would flamux me. I would feel bad because, you know, I'm someone who likes to be liked. And I'm kind, of, everybody, that kind of person. Right. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. Um, and everybody hated me because I was a woman talking about sports and they didn't think I belonged. So after a while, though, I had to grow a pair or I wasn't going to make it on this show. Uh, so then someone might call and say, you know, Janet, who had consecutive no hitters in 1949, you know, and I would say, let me ask you a question first. And the guy would always ask me anything, anything. And so I'd say, who's the current Secretary of Labor? And he would immediately hang up. <laughs> so I figured out a way to get back. You still to feel good about that, don't you? Oh, that was, it was years a very, ago. Very hard time for me. It's very. It was a very well. Hard time welcome for back me. to where you belong, working with me. And now we may move on to shallow information because <laughs> I am working with you. Um, yes, well, I, I you know, pulled yes. some things out yes, from the week. As you're like Been a busy, want to do. busy news week. Out of the blue, you have started to develop allergies. Yes. And I really, you know, mine cranky enough. I don't really need to. You're miserable. Be, miserable when you're out. out yeah. I take allergy medication. It's very, yeah. I've never. The it's called itchy adult allergies. onset allergies. And what do I have to do? Do I take, take medication? Yeah, take meds. And, well, and what honestly, about the side effects of the meds? I always worry I have not, about that. Do you think I have any side effects? <laughs> you can't give me a line like that, that and expect me not to answer. Honestly. That's a softball. <laughs> out of the park. Um, no, I, I, obviously you would know if you had side effects. I but, was incapacitated. I know, I remember Really, that. I was, and you couldn't understand what I was saying, I was so stuffed up. Yeah. And I started to get addicted to nose sprays, so I'm, I, I found a, an option. And I what found, do you take? I take an over-the-counter 24-hour allergy pill, non-drowsy, and by the time at night, I'm drowsy as can be, and off I go to sleep, and it hasn't bothered me at all. But at least I can breathe. I mean, look at me. So. Well, I know there's a lot of sufferers out there who might have solutions as well. Like for you wouldn't me. believe. But it's very distressing to have it in your 50s suddenly. Out of well, nowhere. Yeah, you want it in your 60s or your 70s or what? What? See, just the timing sense. was wrong. Well, or? to have it after all your life is all I'm called saying. Called the dump. That's why it happens when you turn when you become an adult, which obviously didn't happen with you until your 50s. I became an adult. <laughs> Obviously not. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. This is um, a And the show. other thing which I've always believed, which I found in, in USA Today today, which I think is absolutely mind-boggling to me, um, you know how when you when you broke up with your boyfriend or you had some real heartbreak, you always felt like it 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 was in it, it hurt you physically oh, as yeah. well. Stomach. Well, that's why they call it heartbreak, because you felt like your heart was indeed breaking. Yes. Well, they the front page news today. Heartbreak hurts physically, too. I mean, I, I don't think anybody would argue with that. I, you I have get, physical symptoms from people all People used to say it's all in your head. head. Oh, my God. Well, heartbreak? You can't sleep. I mean, it was all psychological, because everything was sort of in your head. So are they emotional. saying that it re... I don't understand that. There what are you're actual saying. physical ramifications from okay. having from 
having a broken heart I see. or breaking up with your boyfriend or being terribly disappointed about something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're actually actual, I don't think that's fascinating. Well, I think that makes absolute sense. I don't think anybody would argue with that. And then the, uh, on the, to the other extreme, something that Beth found us uh, uh, on, on Huffington Post is that laughter and music can lower your, your blood pressure as much as giving up salt. So where's the thank you to me for all the laughter I bring into your life? <laughs> and you have extremely low blood pressure. I do. You? <laughs> you think you're the you're the reason, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been me. No, no. I believe that too. I, I mean, think these that's are all. Amazing. I mean, with all due respect, I think both of those are somewhat obvious. I don't think they're so obvious. No, that laughter would lower your blood pressure. Okay, well, well, all right, all right. I know, again, I know. Uh, okay. Last thing I want to do Obvious is push down. Uh, no. I don't want to Which you have spent the entire show doing, by the way. <laughs> it was, it was, I enjoyed Are you this having show. fun? I enjoyed this show. No, should we mention... Uh, no, 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 no. Should we mention... Don't touch me. Should we mention next what we're doing? Yes, next? well, you should mention it because you're having it done. And I'm very nervous With about my it. doctor, I my love, 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 Dr. But Savage. I'm going mine. to get a very low dose, very light. I'm going to get Botox this week. And don't worry about the fact that his name is Dr. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't even think he of that. He is a doll with the most gorgeous blue eyes. Well, I have been getting five. emails going, you know, do be careful. You know, your eyelids often droop. <laughs> and you know you can break out in a rash. And, and with your luck. <laughs> it goes without saying with that luck. I'll lose an eye exactly. or something horrible is going to happen. I am going to tell him to make me look better, but I don't want to look different. I worry when I see Cher and I see Mickey Rourke. You have wanted this for years. And I, see I gave you a gift certificate. Heidi ten years Montag, ago. that I'm going to look like. Ten years ago, I gave you a gift certificate and you didn't use it. Well, you're going doing. and you're going to like it. And you're going to like it. All right. And, and if you don't like it, you won't do it again. Right. It'll just work its way out of my right. body. It's it only pig poison or something. I have another it? really important question. Do you, how do you feel about Lindsay Lohan dropping her last I name? I could give a hoot and a holler about <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. I thought that was a good place to end on and something on really note. deep and important. <laughs> really? By the way. She just wants to um, compete with Snooki. She wants to be another one name. She's got to like grow Snooki. a few then. Um, then the other, the other um, I want to thank our, our fans and friends. You have been so involved in our show with feedback. God bless you. I think that's great. I'm so we excited. Have, we have, I really have a lot of admiration for it. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun on Facebook, and for those of you who are on Facebook and part of our community, Join you have us. to come on. It's a who. Please. Everybody is funny. Even when they're yelling at us, they're funny. We don't care. And check out some of the other places you can watch the broads or listen to the broads on Doug Steffen's show. Uh, every Tuesday at yeah. 9 a.m., actually 9.06. On the radio. On but the we'll radio. go online. DougSteffen.com. Yeah. Um, and Turning Point TV, of course. Turning Point TV, which we love, yeah. right? And uh, then do we also do have some tours sometimes Fab on Fab Over 50. 50. Yeah. com, which yeah. is a great website. Yeah. We're getting out yeah. there, people. We're getting out there, and you're coming along with us. In we'll the meantime, week. go Red Sox. Have a great week. Go Botox.